We're gonna cut the tree today. All right. But first, we gotta move all this stuff out of the way. And yes, there is a you know a rock garden in there, and there's another little table right beside this chair with the little birdie house thing on it. Uh, these are the loppers, you know what I'm saying? They've been sitting outside for a while. They got a little bit of an edge on them, right? Somebody somewhere along the line decided to sharpen them, but they sharpened them the wrong way, right? Right, because you know when when you have a cutting edge like this, right? You only you only put a bevel on one side. That's why it stays sharp. Look at a pair of scissors, right? I said, yeah, there's two jaws and the scissors, but it's only beveled on one side, right? You don't put an edge on the other side. That's the knife blade. <sighs> All right, so I got the little metal file. And the way you do this is you start at the bottom of the blade and just push outward, flat, you know, flat with the fucking blade, like that. All right, this is going to take a while. All right, okay. Starting to get a little bit sharp. Right here on the edge, you gotta be careful because your finger's out right here. So you don't wanna put so much pressure where you slip off and you stab yourself. Julio's. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they're cut butter now. Hey, Joe. You had to eat treat. You had breakfast. You probably went and ate another baby. <laughs> anyway, so you see how I, you know I've worked my way down to you know an edge, right? Now, right? Put a bevel. Angle the blade up, right? In about 15 degrees or so, maybe, right? And go straight. You know, long. We're gonna go like that with long strokes. I think we're ready to trim this tree now. But first, we gotta move all of this stuff out of the way so we can get at it. You wanna do this carefully, you wanna do this slowly, right? Because this is mom's prize, you know, garden right here, <laughs> right? And everything's gotta be put back right. So, let's switch gears. <laughs> That's what she said. Huh? Looks like an abandoned ranch in one of the old cowboy movies. <laughs> That's what she said. Wow. Well, this is all one piece, so it gets moved all in one piece. As soon as you get it unattached from the forest. <laughs> all right, far enough away where it won't bother you. Toss the cow poop to the side. <laughs> Now mind you, this is one of them gigantic Russian olive sticker bush trees. It's got a lot of spikes when you use, you want to wear good heavy shoes. You still might get stabbed, but, right? You want to wear good leather gloves, right? And always use your eye protection, right? We're gonna have to work our way in here, so. This, you know, it's pretty wild. This tree's wild all the way around, all right? So I gotta work my way in. So you pick, pick a spot and go straight in until like, I'm angling, angling for the table, all right? And now I work my way around that way. Right you're going down first, Jackson. That's why you're fighting so hard, huh? Pull them out, throw them to the side.
Okay, you just saw what I did. Picked up all the little sticks and debris around the bottom of the tree as I'm working along. This is the reason, right here. When you're dealing with this kind of a tree, even if you are wearing good heavy boots, right, it's not gonna stop the thorn that long from going through your foot. And look, it blends you with the ground. All right, you'll see it, you step on Cabingo. When I was living in Phoenix up at Sunny Slope, years ago, I used to use these for booby traps around the inside of the wall of the yard, right? No one ever stole anything from us. But you wanna pick these up. Uh, all the little debris you work along because you step on one of these puppies, Teresa's gonna be mad because she gotta call the helicopter. She gotta call Taylor to come over here with the helicopter, fly my ass to Fallon to get a stupid shot. Huh, girl? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, you climb me in the tree. There you go, guys. Here's Doobie, having it up for the camera. <laughs> this is a cat. Wants no to be a YouTube star. No fear. <laughs> no fear, yeah. That's Doobie. All right, let's see. Uh -oh. And we worked our way in a little bit. We got a birdie <laughs> and an old rusty can. Another trick is you want to try to line the, the sticks, the branches that you do cut off. You want to try to line them all up, you know, end to top, so it makes them easier to pick up when you're throwing them down. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where am I at? Pretty sticky, huh, dude? Thank you.